Hello everybody and welcome back to our F1 Manager 22 Korea Season 2. We are at Baku City Circuit, Azerbaijan. I'm not sure how we're going to do this weekend. We got some decent points in the last one. The board weren't happy because obviously they want us to finish top 6 every race. But... It's better than what I thought. I thought we wouldn't probably even get in the points. It's Monaco. Monaco is difficult for our sort of car. Okay, email, We've got a race preview, up and coming driver. I'll look at them when we, when our drivers decide to retire. They may retire at the end of the season. So what I'm going to be doing is, depending on if they release a new F1 manager game, if they don't release a new one this year, then I'll continue another season after this one. If there's any news on a new one coming out, then obviously I'll stop and we'll get ready for the next one. Okay, so we have to set our targets. Oh, okay, reach Q3, yes. Qualifying position. Eight. In fact, no. Uh, two drivers at least. I forget a little bit then, don't we? Uh, fastest lap, finishing position. Sixth place, two drivers, yeah, top six. So I think we we always seem to do better in the race than we do qualifying. That's what I've noticed anyway. We're going to leave them to it again for practice on the simulator sessions. I'm not sure what setup they're going to go with. They always go different though. Vettel's got it right the last few times. He's actually doing a lot better. Like he hasn't been as quick. He was quicker in the last one. Not in the race, but he set it up so he's more confident. Hamilton hasn't been confident for a while. Hello from Baku, where we're looking forward to a weekend of racing among the medieval and the modern, here at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Drivers will be battling it out on the streets of the Baku city circuit, a real contradiction of a track. From the long main straights, where the less drag the better, to the tight turns, where downforce is a necessity. Teams are going to have to work hard to get that balance right. We're about halfway through the season now, and there's still plenty of time for everything to change. All eyes are on the teams and how they tackle the rest of the year. The competition is on. Right, I do think that Okay, yeah, we're going to be doing this stuff. I do think that a setup towards the straight is better than the corners. Mainly because you can easily just defend around the corners, can't you? The straights are going to be difficult. So I'm hoping we can just go pure pace. We've got a couple more upgrades coming. Seventh and ninth, not bad so far. Setup confidence again. He's not. Oh, what's he doing with his setup? What's he got? Uh, he's gone towards corners, really. Now put at least one of them toward. In fact, no, no. At least put your, at least put your rear wing up so you can actually get some speed. I don't know why he hasn't bothered doing that. Do that. Run that. Run plan and you. Front wing. He has actually done that. Try it the other way, Vettel. Try it the other way, it might be better. Seek for nine, but we're slower. Everybody's slower. Look at the Ferraris. Five temps to science. Okay, we've got a long way to go here. Set up confidence a little bit better. Today, we see the culmination of the team's practice efforts translate to the all-important qualifying session. Each team will be looking to build on the progress they made during yesterday's practice sessions. When it comes to preparation, absolutely nothing should be left to chance. Everything has to be just right. Of course, by the time the cars hit the track, 
Well, there are some things in Formula One that no one could prepare for. There's not much left to say, so let's get into it. Forty-seven percent. Okay. See me like this session. See what they do before qualifying. Then we'll see what we can do with the qualifying session. Secret eleven. Ah, damn it. Yeah, we're not good on this. We are not good. Okay, car set up. Oh, no, no. What is it? Seriously. Front wing we can change, rear wing. Tire camber. Fifty-seven percent confidence, but I want to do something different with them. Okay, he ain't too bad with that. Okay, let's get a qualifying. Manage. Send them both out. Go, go, go. Come on. Let's get. I want to see how I'm going to be. I want to. Ch I could change the front wing anyway. I'm not sure who's going to be quicker between these two. Obviously I'll just change the front wing if anything, if they're too slow. Alright, okay, they're coming to the first sector. Tires, sectors, that's what we need. Interval, here we go, the interval. Need our tyres. Purple, green, green, okay. Hamilton's gonna be quicker than Vettel, I think. Not by very much. That's a good sign for Vettel. But I could still pull it back. Oh, hang on. Science, two attempts quicker on the first sector. Dreadful. I want to see where we lose the most time. Forty-one flat, forty-one free. So Hamilton's pretty decent there. Obviously, we know that the Ferraris are going to be quicker than us. How much by forty point eight? Ah. Not as much on that one. So let's have a look at the gap. 5 tenths off the Vettel. Vettel need, I need to change Vettel's setup slightly then. We'll see where Hamilton is compared to the Ferraris, the quickest car in the game by an absolute mile side. 4 tenths off. Jeebus. Absolutely crazy! Look at that for the leader. That is just mad. Okay, get to get back to the pits. Oh, that's just mad. Car set up. Let's do that. What do you configure for him as well? Car setup. I just want to see what happens if I do this. I don't think we're going to be any quicker. Speed up a little bit, just so we can do that. Okay. Send out Vettel first this time. 
and Hamilton out now. So we're quicker than Alonso. Quite close to Perez. Wow, look how quick the Alfa Romeo are. They're in this fight. Where's Verstappen going to come out though? This is the question. Where is Verstappen going to be? Oh, did he get held up? He's not in this battle. At the moment, he's not 10th place. Are we going to go board Vettel? He needs to improve. God, look at the gap. Ferrari are just ridiculous, aren't they? It's like a second to eighth, and then you've got like two seconds to fifteenth. Oh, this is mad. I think the field's going to be more spread out this season. I think Leclerc's gonna actually no, I don't know. I was gonna say Leclerc's gonna win away run away with the title, but I'll, maybe he's not. Hamilton. Hamilton's not too bad on the first sector. He's quicker than he was before. Better or slower. Let's see what Hamilton can do on the middle sector. I might change Vettel's front wing. If, if Hamilton goes quicker on this lap, I'm going to keep his setup as this and just let him build his confidence with it. Let's see, second sector. Is he going to be quicker than he was before? No. So he's not quicker on this one, but will he be able to improve overall? Oh, there's somebody in the way. Yeah, he's not going to improve. Yeah, he's had to slow down. Flaming Aston Martin. Yeah, he's not going to be quicker now. So, alright, come back to the pits. Let's switch it back. Fresh tyres, car set up. Towards straight. If I go in the middle, oh crap! Reconfigure. No, no, I need to. This car set up. Maybe I go full on for him. Just who's so got some on the straights. He's not confident anyway, is he? Um, I don't think we need to send anybody else out. Maybe Vettel. I'm not going to send Hamilton out, the gap's too big. I'm sending Vettel out just because I'm trying to mess around with his setup at the moment. Let's say alongside, let's see what Vettel can do. Come on Vettel. You've got to do something here. You've got to improve just so that it looks better for you in the next session. If he doesn't improve, then I'm just going to go with the straights. I'll just do exactly the same as Hamilton. Full on straight. Oh, hang on. He's green. This could be it for him. What is he on? 35-4. Oh, God. He's still a long way off everybody else. Yeah, he's... <laughs> He's not going to be anywhere near the top 10, I don't think. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Maybe he will be. I'm not, I'm not going to put the soft tyres on at all on this track. We're going to go mediums and hards. 
I might even start on the hard tyres. Uh, yeah, I'm not on safe, he's fine. He's, he's had to. I've had to keep a fresh pair of tyres for the. Because I think Hamilton's got a good chance of doing what I'm going to minute. That was quicker than he was again with his setup. Am I going to run the same setup for Hamilton? Probably not. I've just made him quicker on the straights anyway. This is probably where Vettel's going to lose time on this long straight. Oh, ninth. Okay, second half. Not bad. Okay, now I need to put a little bit more on the front wing uh, towards the straight again. Just a tiny little smidge for Vettel, just to get him around that corner. Okay. 59% confidence in that setup. Vettel's, Vettel's not confident at all. I'm going to do that for. Because Hamilton's on. I've basically just gone to screw it with the front wing of him. I could turn his front wing down slightly. We'll see. Send them both out again. That's what I like to do with this. Send them both out, let them just battle. Let's get you to your fast laps, guys. Once again, someone's going to bloody block us. This is why I think they need to bring back single lap qualifying, or at least let everybody take the track at different... Like, give them a time to, to actually go and set a time. Just so that people don't get in your way. Okay, oh no. Ocon's getting in the way. That Ocon. Oh, you joker. Get out of the way. I hate the Alpines. Hamilton's only slightly quicker. Gasly's quicker than both. Yeah, we're not on the level of those to this seat at the moment. The Alfa Romeo are very, very quick. We could we could compete in the race. It seems to be what we're quite good at the moment. Race pace, we're better. I'll just attack them at the start. Hamilton quicker again. Gasly's quicker again. Now this is where Hamilton should be quick. Because he's set for the straights. We've set Lewis Hamilton up for straights. If it works, I may... I can't really do it. Vettel has got a different setup, hasn't it? Okay. Hamilton quicker by four temps. And two temps off Gasly. So the sh yeah. I think that's it for our pace. I don't think we can do anything else. What I could do is go car set up. Put his front wing up again. I don't think we need to go again. Vettel does. Vettel really needs to go again, doesn't he? Hamilton doesn't. I don't think Lewis needs to go again though. <sighs> flippy. Flippy, flippy, flippy. Now if I do that, one. Send him out. So he's got a little bit on the corners maybe. Send him out. Vettel not quick enough. Okay, Vettel's going out. That was out. Of course he is. Look at that though. Not even a second separates the top 10. Well, top 13. Hamilton did improve. Okay, so Hamilton improved on that. So I'm going to keep him on that now. Six temps off. Oh. Maybe I could actually do something different. Maybe I could tweak it again. Uh, Vettel. 
Paul Vettel. Let's try two. Just because... Why not? Great with all of them. Get some pace. You can do it, Lewis. I don't think we're gonna do any anything here, bro. You never know. Alright, Q three. Q three. It is. This is going to be a battle, this is. The Stappen could beat the Ferraris. Stappen wants his title back off Leclerc. He just, he just can't seem to do it though. I think even if he gets pole, he's not winning this race. Ferrari are really quick. Okay, where are we? 35-3, 35-2, 35-1, yeah. Quicker than Alban, quicker than Norris, not quicker than Perez either. Yeah, I'll turn it down slightly on the on on the front wing just so we can get a little bit on the corners. If he's more confident on the other setup, then I'm gonna switch back to the highest confidence setting just so we can let him push on the last one it that way we'll see though okay 41 flat yeah this is going to be difficult for us I mean they're gonna have to push Hamilton's really got to go for it he's got to pull off something absolutely magnificent he's got to pull off the magic if he can can he pull off the magic the clerk pole at the moment guys these four temps off we are six tenths off, of course we are. Verstappen at one tenth off pole. Okay, here we go. Now we're going down. Let's come back to the pit, shall we? Because we need to work on the car. Seventh. Reconfigure. Car setup, car parts. No, I'm not doing that. Car setup. Let's revert to highest confidence, 59%. Is it okay? This is Galvery. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. I'm not sending them out until everyone else goes out. This, I'm, I'm giving Hamilton what he's more confident in with his setup, so hopefully he can actually do something. Now I'm going to send him out. Let's ride along with Hamilton on his outlap. I think we're right, no we're not right at the back. Who's behind us then? No idea. Okay, so you've got Leclerc, Verstappen, same right next to each other, Sainz, Bottas is behind us, okay, then Gaz is behind us, Perez is behind, ah, Perez is the one behind us, then there's us, Alonso is the one ahead of us, Norris, Albans is the one at the front, let's hope he slows everybody else down for us, maybe he's ridiculous, how did he even get in the top 10, that's like a magnificent performance by him, Norris as well. I'm surprised nobody signed Alonso. He's one I would sign, but it cost way too much money. If it could just be like a straight swap between your drivers, I, like, and not any money involved, I probably would swap Vettel for Alonso. 
Or I'd shovel a clerk and Verstappen in my car. And let somebody else challenge for the title for once. Hamilton, leave a gap. You don't want to be stuck behind. You are faster than Alonso and he's going to end up slowing you down. Bottas is leaving a little bit of a gap. Push. Push, 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 push. Come on, Lewis. Should we go with this camera? We're going to go with this camera. He's quite confident on the first corner. Let's see how he does on this one. Hmm. Okay, but not too... Not too quick. Hamilton really needs to pick it up a few notches here if he's going to improve. Oh, he's slower. Hamilton is slower with his setup. 35-2. Everybody, in fact, everybody's slower. It looks like Leclerc might get pole position, I think. I think Leclerc is going to get pole. Verstappen needs to improve by a tenth if he can. So far, nobody's faster. Hang on, look at the tyres. No one's got brand new ones on, really, have they? And we got the second. We should be quicker on the third sector. That's our... Uh, Hamilton has not improved at all. Nobody's improving here. Yeah, I think this is it. Albon doesn't improve. Verstappen hasn't improved. Leclerc is pole. Leclerc is pole. Nobody is improving. Yeah, seventh place it is. Nobody improved. That was terrible. Okay, Vettel, we're going to have to go with a completely different... I don't know what we're going to do with Vettel. I may... I may do something drastic with Vettel for the race. For tomorrow's video of his race, we'll do something drastic. Give him it's a new time engine. for the final touches here on the grid, ahead of today's race. We saw a reasonable push from Mercedes in qualifying, and they'll have plenty of opportunities here to achieve a great result. Although we didn't see give, a standout performance give from Alpine during new. qualifying, everything's still open to them during this race. The weather is very overcast here, and teams are staring at the sky watching for the first sign of rain. Strategies might have to be quite flexible going into today's race. Well, whatever happens, it's sure to be a tremendous race day here at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. It might rain. Hmm, that's interesting. So we put hard tyres on, go longer. And then if it does rain, we've got a really good chance of doing something, haven't we? Keeping that his car set up, terrible. 26% confidence. He's not confident with that at all, is he? He's not confident in this car. I might just do this with him. I might just put his front wing there. Okay. What I'm going to do with you strategy wise. In fact. Car parts. Chassis. You've got that. I'm thinking we can't really do anything with those. I'm getting new suspension. Engines, 91%, 99%. Okay, that's not too bad, is it? It's not actually too... Eight. Install. ERS. New part. Yeah. Let's just do it. Give him completely 100% for everything. 
because then he can just push. Who cares? How much that cost? A million for the new engine. Ugh. Uh, I don't know. 91%. 78%. Yeah. Sorry. Do it. Yeah, he might as well. I don't mind him going at the back of the grid. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's... Yeah, that's... That's good. I got what I want. Because I'm going to change this strategy regardless. Delete it. I'm going with a new strategy. We're going with the hard tyre. Hard tyre. Thirty, then you got that. Come in a bit lap thirty, and you got medium tyres. Yeah, he's not going to make it to the end if I make him not. He'll get. He'll make it to the end if I do that. Okay, that'll do. That's him. That is Vettel strategy. Hamilton strategy though. I may go medium hard just so he can oh, attack. Or medium hard soft two stopper, a very aggressive two stopper. Could do that. Edit it though. No, it's not going to get to the end if I do that. I could do that. Pace, pace, pace. If I'm going to do that, he needs to be aggressive. Attack. 76%. Fucking medium tyres. Why are they 76? Why are they that? Um, no, no, no. We're not having that. That's terrible. Add a new strategy. That's better. Medium. We could go medium, medium. Fast. We go very quick and then a normal pace. 15 laps of pure pace from Hamilton on the mediums. Ooh, could we do that? 76% now. I don't like that. I'd rather go the hard tyre. Yeah, I'd rather do that. You know what? Fi we'll figure it out tomorrow. I don't know why it set his mediums on that as a crap tyre. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, um. Oh, I'm gone. Thank you all for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. Hopefully the race will throw some off because he's going to be starting near the back. So we're going to do a different strategy. But anyway guys, until next time, take care.